We're doing it. And we're live. <laughs> it's tech chat. Da 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 So welcome to Tech Chat. If you haven't been here before, I'm Michelle. And I, I'm Adriana. <laughs> And Tech Chat is where we drink all of our wine. Well, maybe not all of our wine. That's a big bottle tonight. We drink our wine and we clean our tag. Tonight, Adriana has a I'm slightly moldy saddle. I'm almost embarrassed to uh, share this, but you can't really see the mold on there. You could if you shut it up close. If you have shut it up close. I've got a couple of bridles. I'm going to do my boots as usual. Hang on. Let me get into the chat. I do have the microphones on. They're plugged in. Let me get into the chat and then mute it. And <laughs> mute it, I know. Live. They're plugged in. <laughs> oh, Marvel's already here. And Taylor. Oh, Lauren. What's up, ladies? Hey, Lauren. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Marvel. Marvel, I was telling Adriana about your um, uh, your art because she is an artist as well. And so we were sharing, you know, stuff. Um. Did I even get to what we're, oh yeah, we clean our tap, we drink our wine, and we chat about the topic of the day. Now today, our topic is people who mess with your horses without your permission. And, oh, Zadel's here. Hey, Zadel, how are you? Zadel had questions about centaurs. I have to answer those. I'm getting to you, I swear. <laughs> Before we get started tonight, though, I wanted to say a thank you to one of our patrons, y'all. Geek Girl, who I hope will show up after she gets her kids to bed uh, in the chat. Geek Girl, who is one of our patrons, Rebecca. She went to New York and saw Harry Potter and the First Child. Yes. Oh, she took a carriage tour and posted the pictures and everything. Oh, my gosh. So she sent, it was um, my son Liam. It was his 11th birthday on Sunday. And so she sent him a Slytherin shirt because. Did he get his Hogwarts? I don't think so. Uh oh, Ooh, I know someone I need to tell about that too. Mm hmm. So I told Liam I wanted to show Adriana um, the shirt, and he said, Well, she, just don't let her take it home with her. <laughs> I'm like, Okay. So thank you so much, Rebecca. I have not tried the breeches on yet. I got a birthday present too. Um, I haven't tried the breeches on yet, but we will see. Okay. Oh, we got, oh my gosh, there is like some big boobs cam girl. Somebody's in our chat. Wait, we finally got a spammer in our chat, y'all. We made it. Look. What is, what is the deleted message? I don't know. View deleted message. Wait. What oh no! Don't don't let don't that know. come through. Oh, wait, it's not coming through, is it? No, wait. it's not. Report. Yeah, report that. Report put, that put, them, put her in timeout. <laughs> we're gonna put we're putting you in timeout, Cam girl, whoever you are. This is not that kind of channel. Y'all behave. <laughs> I hope that wasn't one of my friends. <laughs> I doubt it. No, 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 no. No. How many of these lights are getting to me, y'all? I should have brought my fan. I have. I have, well, I had my hand fan here earlier. I don't know. Okay, so I am going to be cleaning things. I do have my boots that I'm going to, I might try to super glue my boots. So, yeah, I'm going to drink wine and then try to super glue something. What could go wrong? Yay! I am not unsticking you. <laughs> we have to open our wine. Look how big this one is. This is our usual oak leaf. It's like two dollars and ninety six cents at Walmart, but this one was like five dollars and something. And I was like, "Yeah, strong for the fancy stuff." I know. This is surprisingly you know what? what? Next thing opens. What? You know what? I'm just gonna let you. Do it. I just do it with this. I am don't, sitting right here. Don't please. judge me. She's going to stab me. No, I'm not. With cork. She's going to corkscrew me. I don't stab people. And if I did, it wouldn't be with a corkscrew. So we're drinking our white tonight. It is Chardonnay. What did we have last time that was really disappointing? That was almost a Riesling. It was the Riesling, but it tasted like a Moscato. That's oh, what that's what it was. Like, no. Uh -huh. oh. mm. Smells not like a Moscato? <laughs> yeah, they didn't even have that this time, so I was like, okay. Okay, so we are going to pour. Remember, if you're not following Adriana on Instagram, we're judging you right now. What is it? Cheval Noir Designs. Yes. 
where you can, if you need to, get a glass like the one that I am drinking out of. That is deceptively deep. Look at that, just like us. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, Marvel says she hates spammers. They're really annoying. I know. Well, we haven't had them before. I guess we're getting bigger now. Oh, uh, Zadel's going to bed. Got a 924-mile drive tomorrow morning. Ooh, from Kentucky to New Hampshire. Nice. Well, thank you for joining us, Zadel. We really appreciate it. Um, next week is going to be the crafting live stream, and I'm going to be painting. We're going to paint stuff next week. Ooh. I guess I should get to work. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's start uh, with this bridle. This we have really wet weather for a while, and um, I didn't use Sunny's. I don't ever use Sunny's leather bridle. I always use that. If you follow our Instagram, you'll see pictures of Sunny with this rainbow, this obnoxious rainbow headstall, and these purple reins. Sometimes I call him the horse formerly known as Prince because purple reins, purple yes, reins. Purple reins. I know, I know, I know. I'll be there. Oh, thanks, Zadel. We'll see you next time. Have a safe trip, okay? Yeah, no. So I've got this, and there's like, I don't know if I can show. I don't want to show my cheap, rusty bit, but there's like all kinds of mold on that. So we're just going to, you know what? I'm going to totally take it apart. That's. Y'all remember last time this happened? Last time I tried to take a bridal apart on deck, Dad. I never even got to my boots or whatever else I was trying to do. Pass the floor this way. Floor! So. I don't I mean, do we, we want to, like, okay, us, we're gonna, yeah. we're totally putting it on the ground between us. And we are going to, our chat topic tonight was um, inspired by some events online and some conversations in person. Um, the in-person events, I guess we'll get to. That was Amy who brought up some stuff. So our topic tonight is people who mess with your work without permission. So first of all, some people don't understand. Let's talk about this first of all, uh, like giving a horse treats. I wanna, let's get that one out of the way first because if you are not a horse person, you probably don't see anything wrong with it. I've talked to so many people who, when they find out I work with horses, they're like, oh, there is a horse down the street for me and I bring it apples and carrots all the time. And I'm like, <gasps> no. Yeah. And so then when I control myself after my reaction of horror, they're like, what, why? And I mean, if you have a dog or a cat, I try to tell people like, imagine if someone came into your backyard and said, oh, your dog looks hungry and gave your dog hamburgers, like a couple of them. You'd lose your mind. You'd be like, oh my God, please don't let my dog die. I hope we're yeah. gonna have to go to the vet or whatever. You know, I don't think people think, I don't know what they think horses are, but you would, I mean, what, correct me if I'm wrong, would you feed someone else's dog? No, I mean, I, I, I no. <laughs> I mean, I'm also very particular about what my dog eats. Like, well, she exactly. doesn't eat people food. Um, well, we were talking about this today. Liam didn't know that horses can be diabetic. Yeah. Um, and so if you have like a horse that is on a special diet and maybe can't have any sugar or anything like that, and then someone comes along with a bag of sugar lumps and feeds your horse a bunch of sugar because look how much he likes it. And then the next day they're like, huh, where'd the horse go? <laughs> like, no, no, please. Please don't feed the ponies. Oh, geek girl's here. I'm taking over for mom on this account. Oh, is this Evie? <laughs> She's making a centaur. Oh. Evie is making a centaur? Oh, no, that's, um, is that, wait, yeah. wait. oh, it's Evie. Yeah, this is Evie. I'm making a centaur. Oh, hi, Evie. Evie is um, Rebecca's oldest daughter. Okay. Um, so I didn't know if this one would be too late for you, Evie. Does your mom know you're on here? Girl. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I'm not going to tell on you if she's not. I'm that. I'm crazy Aunt Michelle. I don't tell on people. <laughs> All right, I have a feeling I'm getting mold like everywhere. All right, everyone. You right? Okay. So yeah, Evie. people. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was. Oh, I just got water on your foot. I got water on her foot. Strike um, one. <laughs> I, forgot what I, I forgot what I was gonna say. It was something about Evie. Okay, when we forget what we're gonna say on Tat Tat, or when oh, I forget what no. I was gonna say, we have to take a drink. The other night on the crafting live stream, I could not keep my brain straight. 
Like I forgot what I was saying every two seconds. I wasn't even drinking. Oh, I know. It's Chrysler. It's Chrysler. As long as you own a horse, you pet whenever you like. Exactly. But if it's not yours, well, that's another thing too that we wanted to get into is trespassing. When I was thinking about this topic to discuss, there were like certain areas that we wanted to hit. And one was like feeding the horse, either feeding them or treats or things like that. Um, another one is um, just petting and touching and interacting with the horse, trespassing on your property. But I know there are some, have you seen videos online of people? There was one I just watched today of a guy who went into a paddock and thought it would be funny to ride a miniature horse. Oh, no. Have you seen that one? No. It was a little Salabella pony. Oh, I would be so, oh, I'm so, so glad I haven't seen that because I would get so ragey. This dude went into a paddock with the horse. And now this horse is 28 inches tall at the shoulder. Not intimidating at all. So this guy, who probably outweighs the horse by 50 pounds, mm. decides it's going to get on the horse's back. It gets on bareback, and the little thing is like running around, mm. head up in the air, and you can tell it's mad. It bucked him off. <laughs> bucked him off, and then <laughs> took a chunk out of his back, like oh right where goodness. his kidneys are. And if you know horses, like when they bite you on the back, those are the worst. Are they not? Mm. Like I don't think the bites you get from horses on their backs are just, they always end up being nasty. Oh, Marvel says, I wouldn't touch one without permission. Yes, Marvel, you would be surprised how many people don't get that. They're like, what? What? I have people walk up. I mean, you know. Oh, much evening mom's on another computer watching. Thank you for saying that. I don't want you to get in trouble at all. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, mini horses are like size of a, a medium dog. They can be like one to 200 pounds, I think. Yeah, I mean, they're small enough to where I feel like I, I can pick them up. A lot of them, though, they the smaller a horse is, like the more they can pull or carry on their backs pound for pound. Like if, if we did the math ratio and, and did everything, like even everything out, ponies are actually stronger than draft horses. Like pound for mm -hmm. pound. I'm gonna just keep doing this one forever, this cheap. So that was another one like trespassing and we'll talk about those kind of stories and feeding. Another big one is riding your horse without permission. Mm. And I know I would have never thought that people would do this, but I have heard so many crazy stories about people riding other people's horses without permission. Now we have both had situations though, where it is okay. Like we have specific permission from the owner of the horse that mm -hmm. yes, you can come out to the barn anytime you want day or night without my permission and do whatever you want to this horse. Yeah. But not everybody gets that deal. This looks kind of, this, that's just circus. It looks like it might be cracking now. Um, now I will tell you, and I'll admit this, and I was not smart when I was younger. <laughs> I, well, that's what, tell us, Adriana, this is what we're here for. So, several things. First of all, I accidentally rode horses occasionally without somebody's permission. If and, you're a little kid, I can kind of understand. Yeah. Um, there were there were several times when I'd ride a horse in a lesson, and somebody told me I could, but it wasn't the person I needed to be asking. Okay. So, you know, I, I kind of got in trouble for that. We also used to um, go out in the field like idiots. Yes. And I just kind of sit on the horses. We were, we were like 14, 15. Oh, if that, if my that. goodness. Not excusing hey, it. Hey girl, hey. Uh, I'm guessing that's not Evie now and that's Rebecca. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca, I gave you a shout out earlier. I didn't know if you saw, we got your package today and Liam loves it and he has instructed Adriana not to steal his shirt. Because Slytherins be like. <laughs> you know what Slytherins be like. <laughs> so, okay, well, the whole, okay, using someone's horse without their permission. I'm going to out myself here, and I will name names just because I am the person in the story. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been so many years that I'm sure if, if she happens to see this, like, I'm sure I'll be forgiven. <laughs> 
But okay, I did have permission to ride, but I think I was supposed to ask like first and make mm -hmm. sure it was okay. So this was, I'm about to tell the story of the worst fall I've ever had. <laughs> oh no. That I totally deserve. This was back when I first started working for Historic uh, Savannah Carriage Tour. This was back in 2003. And the manager there was a lady named Peggy Noon, who now runs a wonderful therapeutic riding facility called Pegasus Riding Academy for uh, special needs riders. Um, if you have not, go look Peggy up, Pegasus Riding Academy on Facebook and follow her. It's just a beautiful program. So Peggy had her two personal horses there. So in addition to the working draft horses who were in the barn, Peggy had her two personal horses, and they were these little paints, Mally and Cisco. Did you know Mally and Cisco? Uh, I don't think Mally so. Mally was the mom, and Cisco was her um, foal. Um, but Mally, uh, Peggy said I could ride Mally. And so one day, I went to work early. I was supposed to be in the office that day, so I went to work way early so I could go riding. <laughs> now, it had been, I was returning to riding at this time, so I was not riding regularly. I had not ridden regularly in like years, like 10 years. Mm -hmm. But I thought I knew what I was doing, because I rode yeah. horses before, and I grew up taking lessons, so I was like, yeah, yeah. So I tack this little horse up, and I go to that place that um, is being re redone now, that was that ended up being the homeless camp. Do you know what I'm talking about? The area behind the barn? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's like a whole area, and they cleared it out now, because they're like making, there's some sort of housing project that's gonna mm -hmm. go up there now. But back in those days, it was a big, empty lot. Mm -hmm. So I went back there to ride, and Mally was hot. She mm -hmm. was, like, not having it. And so me, being an idiot, I'm like, um, okay, well, I'm just going to let her canter. So I let her canter, and I had forgotten to tighten the girth. Oh, no. <sighs> <laughs> she took the corner, and I had, like, just enough time to be like, should I emergency dismount, or maybe I should try to fix the strip? And as I'm having this conversation in my head, thud, and I hit the ground like a 180 pound bag of meat, and like my pelvis, it was terrible. So of course, Mally took off, and then I had to like limp back to the barn. And because I wasn't, I didn't technically have permission, I had to spend the rest of the day pretending I was okay. Oh no. <laughs> So, Peggy, if you ever watch this, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I learned my lesson immediately. <laughs> you know what? I think if more people had really painful experiences like that, then they probably wouldn't do as many dumb things with horses. Oh, Scott's here. Yay! Horse-friendly rider. Wait, oh, I'm older. My work is special needs horse rider place thingy. Yes. Oh, Marvel. You know what, Marvel? If you have a therapeutic riding center anywhere near where you live, they're always looking for volunteers. And you don't necessarily have to have any experience with horses. Um, a lot of times they'll teach you, especially if you're willing to learn and you're dependable. Because um, sometimes they just need people to stand with the horses. Yeah. Um, or walk alongside the horses um, and that kind of thing. So that is. Wait, where did my go? Okay. So I would suggest that because horses are very therapeutic. So there we go. That's my story outing myself. The time I rode Peggy Noon's horse without permission and regretted it almost instantly. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. Riding horses, feeding them. What else did we say? Trespassing. Goodness. Okay, hang on. I'm still getting, I've not even gotten to the oiling stage yet. I'm still just like using the wet cloth. And then you have people who do things with your horse. Like you give them permission to ride under certain conditions and they let other people ride your horse without permission. Or they like change up tack or something. Yes. You know, and just don't tell you. And you're like, no, that's not how this goes. Jumping. Yeah. That's a big thing. Like, no trainers, no other people around. But like, oh, we jumped three feet today mm -hmm. on my horse. <laughs> I don't know, because um, some horses, not all horses are, you know, push button horses. Some of no. them are a little bit. Like, I use Weasley for beginner lessons, but that is like in the round pen, carefully supervised. Yeah. He can be pretty salty if you just come right up to him and be like, hey, let's go do a thing. They'll and be like, Hmm. <laughs> like there was uh, the one time when I, I I was I have this friend 
who was working at a barn. Yes. And she went there in the middle of the day and saw one of the horses that she had been um, charged with riding being ridden by somebody else. And she didn't know this person. Right. Um, so she messaged the owner and asked them about it. And they said, oh, yes, she's, she's got permission to, to ride the horse, you know, but only when the barn owner is there or when there's a, right. a trainer there. And it, this girl was doing crazy stuff uh, that was not, I mean, way beyond her skill level. And it was uh, That's apparently pretty, pretty... All right, where's my saddle set? Oh, Where my phone is leaning on. Yeah. I forgot you had to fake the rest of the day. What? Oh, that day. Scott was talking about the day I fell. Yes. Um, so who talks like that to a sugared up nine-year-old? <laughs> Silly, y'all. Okay. I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat, but I'm also trying to be about getting my bridal clean. So I got my saddle. I couldn't find my other saddle soap, so I broke out this new stuff. This was one I think I got in one of the boxes. It was either yeah. saddle box or heart to horse. Anyway. So the saddle probably needs to be reflocked. No, I'm kind of excited that we got um, a sexy spammer in our chat tonight. Yeah. Because that means it's showing up in random people's feed. It's true. <laughs> People are like, ooh, let's drop in and say hi. If you have dropped in and said hi to our tag chat, how you doing? What you doing? Subscribe to the channel. Okay. What else were we going to talk? Oh, I was going to tell, okay, feeding treats to the horses. Let's talk feeding horses. We hit on it a little bit at the beginning. But I want to tell the story of Weasley getting bitey. Yeah, Weasley, if you watch our videos or if you follow our Instagram, you know, Weasley can be pretty salty. He can be very opinionated. And there was a time last year when he started getting really bitey. Like, he'd just bite and he just wanted treats and he'd have his ears back all the time. And I'm like, what is wrong with my horse? I actually came up with a special treat protocol to fight this. Like, I would say a certain thing and I would always give it to him from the certain side and he had to go to the, you know, move his face. Mm -hmm. And we had a very specific protocol for taking treats. And even then he kept trying to fight and everything. And I'm like, what is going on with my horse? One day I go out there and there's one of the new boarders and she's going out to visit her horse that's out there. And she's like, not really a horse person. She rescued this horse. Oh, I don't know anything about horses, but this horse needed me. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so she comes up with a friend who's also not a horse person oh, and they take a bag of carrots. I've watched them take a bag of carrots into the paddock. And when they open that gate, all the horses heads go up. There were like six horses in the pasture. It's a pretty good pasture, a couple acres. They all came running. Mm. They came running to this lady from like all different directions. Now me, I'm watching this. I have had two friends be attacked by food aggressive horses in a paddock before. And I know you never bring a bag of treats to an open paddock. And I'm watching, and these horses start to fight each other. I didn't even tell you this part. They started like fighting oh each other goodness. to get to the carrots. And the lady's like, ha, ha, ha. and her friend is like, I'm kind of nervous. And the lady's like, they're not going to hurt you. I've gotten out there by this time. I'm like, yeah, they might. <laughs> <laughs> And I was trying my best to control my face, but I probably had a real bee face on. Mm -hmm. It probably did. I was trying to be like polite, but it was probably it's one nicer of those. Than I would have been. <laughs> it was probably one of those strained polite faces. But she was like trying to give a horse's treat, and I just like grabbed her hand like she was a child, and I was like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> don't feed my horse's treat." <laughs> so I was, she's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know." <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. it's like when I go to the dog park, you know, I'll have treats in my bag for my dog too. Yes. Okay. Because my dog, you know, my dog, yes. she, she's sassy. And if she's having fun, if there's something better to do, she doesn't want me to leave, but she's not going to come with me. <laughs> like she's going to stay there. Yes. So I try and lure her into, this sounds really terrible y'all, but my, my dog, okay. We've been to good girl classes. <laughs> she comes. When she's cold, unless there's something better going on. 
Selective hearing. Se selective hearing. She's a husky mix. So she will probably have selective hearing for her entire life. Uh, but I do not give any other dogs treats. Yeah. None of the no. other dogs get, because I don't I know them. Never, the, I've given Hamlin treats out at the barn, yeah. but only with permission. Uh, Marvel wanted to know, like she said, horses bite. She didn't realize like they would bite. Yes, if not now, because we're having tat tat. But after we're done, uh, go on YouTube and look horse bites biker or bicyclist. Have you seen that one? Oh yes, that one's ugly. Because it was they were wild right or yeah. feral horses. There was like they were the mountain bikers and they're going along and they saw this herd of wild horses and they're wild or feral or they were out and they were like, ooh, horses, let's go pet them. And they walked up, and if you know horses, what I saw, what these guys saw, I'm sure, is pretty horses, let me go, and ooh, one of them's coming toward us. What I saw was a mama horse with a foal by her side, and the man looked like he was approaching the baby. Oh, no. So he starts approaching the baby. This mare reaches out with her ugliest face, and she chomped hype <laughs> on his arm, like just chomped down, and the guy was like, oh, God. It's terrible. Now, they're not usually like aggressive. They're not going to like breathe fire and attack you. But you Most of them are. Yes. <laughs> you kind of have to be cautious about them, though. Because again, some horses are food aggressive, some horses are just aggressive aggressive. Now, generally, those horses are either taken places to have their aggression trained out of them, or honestly, they'll be euthanized because aggression and dangerous behavior in horses is. Sometimes difficult to train out. Hey, Geek Girl says they sure do bite. <laughs> if you're lucky, they bite while you still have your gloves on. Oh, gosh. I've had, Sunny was the worst horse bite I've ever had. That was yeah. when I was uh, tacking up and I was tightening the girth and he turned around and took a chunk out of my butt and I was like, ah! it was so bad. It was like a bruise, like about this big on the side, like right up on the upper thigh. Oh, so bad. I can't think of who the horse, worst horse bite I've ever had was. It was, I think it was on my arm, but I don't remember who it was. I had, you remember Mr. Bennett? Mm -hmm. He bit my boob. Mr. <laughs> Bennett. He was a carriage horse downtown. And he didn't, he didn't like me. He liked the way I drove, but he didn't yeah. want to be petted. He wasn't about that life. He was like, uh uh, thank you, but no, I don't need the humans putting their hands all over me. Gross. No, thank you. So one day he was like nuzzling me with his face, and I was like, Mr. Bennett, like he's my friend. He finally <laughs> likes me. And so I put my arms around his hand and I'm hugging him and I'm tearing up a little. He opened his mouth a little and <laughs> pinched me right on the side of the boob. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, he was laughing at me after that. <laughs> yes. Taylor says if you're really lucky, you just get a play bite that doesn't hurt much. But God, even play bites, horses bite the snot out of each other, y'all. The ever loving snot. So, yes, Marvel, that is one reason that you don't want to mess with horses or trespass onto somebody else's property. Um, because I do, like I said, I've had two friends who have actually been sent to the hospital from bringing food into an open pasture with horses. Oh, Emily's here. Hey, Emily. How are you tonight? She was one of our people she, um, on Instagram. I was, I found her tonight. I was like, girl, get on over to Tech Chef. What are you doing on Instagram? Get on over to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so Emily, we're talking about all the annoying things people do without permission. I had, I remember working at Norwood years ago. There was another one of the girls working there, and she liked to get on the horses like when there was nobody else around, I'm just gonna get on him and go. And I'm like, I'm like that's not your horse. And I'm such a, I was such a, like she was a child. I mean, she was a teenager, and I'm like a fuddy duddy old lady. I'm like, excuse me, but I think you're supposed to ask permission. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, of course, she's like a little cowgirl with no fear. <laughs> I thought I did this already. Was it the nose band? Okay, what does horse, oh, I've been MIA with tech chat for a while, been busy be, uh, what does horse bidding have to do with people messing with your tech? Wait, what do we mean? Horse biting. Horse biting or horse bidding? I think it's horse biting. To people messing with your tech. I'm not sure, what was I talking about? 
Wait, let me drink for that. Mm. Rebecca, could you please clarify your question? Unless that's Evie, then in which case, Evie, please clarify your question. <laughs> but yeah, oh, people have uh, borrowed tack before. I generally don't mind if they ask first, but I'm still going to give you the side eye. I'm going to be like, sure, you can borrow it. <laughs> you know, I don't mind. So, like, if they borrow it, and like clean it and put it back. That's fine. Yes. But I have been, you know, I, I feel like it's almost every bar in a house this. They've always got things you gotta lock it up because your stuff will go missing. People will borrow things. She feels like really good about that. Like you can yeah. leave stuff lying around and it will stay there. Yeah. It's not running away. People aren't gonna borrow it. It's so nice. Yeah, now I've never but, had that problem in Chimney Field. Yeah. Um that's where my ponies are. I need to see if my half chops are out there. Oh, it's Evie asking that question. Um, I don't know what the horse biting has to do with people. Not uh, Horse biting was separate, um, a, a separate topic. Um, we're just talking, tonight we're talking about all the different ways that people can mess with your horse and all of the way, the reasons why it annoys us. Usually it annoys us because it's dangerous to the people or to your horse. Yeah. Um, People who are messing with horses who don't know what they're doing are a danger to themselves. I don't, somebody can Google this, but I read somewhere that horses kill more people per year than sharks do. That makes that's, sense. That's crazy. But I think it's like 20 people a year get killed by horses. That's all? Yeah, and less than that for sharks. Oh, but everybody's afraid of sharks. I have people, um, Oh yeah, Emily says most of my tech is pretty low end and I stick to pretty small barns. So usually what's mine is yours, but please ask first. I'm kind of the same way. I don't have a $2,000 saddle or more. I have like, I got my dressage saddle. It's a WinTech. I got it used for $125. <laughs> you know, my trail saddle I thought was nice. <laughs> I need to take this. Speaking of, I traded this for my other key for this, and I got this and a Crosby. I got like three saddles. What brand is that? It's a key for. Okay. But it's old and it needs to be reflocked. I may take it up to my guy up in Maryland and see if he can uh, blow some life into it. Nice. Marvel wants to know what our favorite horse breeds are. What's your favorite horse breed? Okay, so that's really tough. Um, I love Percherons. And Bertrand paint crosses, <laughs> as we know. But you know, I'm really loving. I've been driving Dublin yeah. lately, and he is half Belgian, one quarter Dutch harness, and one quarter standard bred. And I love him. <laughs> I love him a lot. That's awesome. I was going to say Bertrand too. And this is, I, there must have been, I think I had a breed, a horse breed book when I was little, one of those big picture, co coffee table picture books, you know? Mm -hmm. And the picture of the Percheron to me was just perfect. It was like this dapple gray mm -hmm. picture, this beautiful draft horse. And um, a Percheron marble is a draft horse, one of the big working horses. And usually they are gray or white or black. Those are the typical colors that you see them in. Um, and I love the dapple gray. That's when they're gray and they have their light gray with the darker gray spots. Usually a horse will lose its dapples over the years. Like if a horse is dapple gray, that means it's really, really young. But when I was five years old, my imaginary friend was a dapple gray percheron named Molly. And she would, she had the power to turn me into a dapple gray percheron too. Oh, well, that's nice. And then we would canter around and have adventures, and that's what we did. So mm -hmm. you can picture little five-year-old Michelle cantering around with my imaginary friend. Mm -hmm. So yes, she's, oh, Emily says, if you ask to ride my horse nine times out of 10, I will say yes. But if I show up to the barn and someone's on my horse without permission, you'll feel my wrath. Oh, absolutely. Oh my gosh, and we're having to say goodnight to Evie. Evie, hey, Liam is already in bed, girl. No no shame in your game, okay? Thank you for joining us, my darling. <laughs> you are a blessing to the tech chat. Let's see. Oh, Marvel, um, she likes the American Paint Horse. Nice. There used to be quite a few paints out 
at um, Chimney Field. I remember when I was younger, I liked Abby's. The first horse that I ever rode independently was an Appaloosa. As far as I know, she's still, she's still alive, maybe? There's no way my first horse is still alive. It was in 1982, and he was 15. Yeah, no, Lottie was seven. Aw. And... Okay, I think I've cleaned everything. She was alive but retired last time. Last time. Me. Get the Hedwig merch. <laughs> oh, yeah, she got, sorry to interrupt. Um, remember, um, Rebecca made the unicorn horn for her horse, yeah. and she had the photo shoot. Well, she commissioned an artist to do an illustration. Did you see it? I saw it. So oh, beautiful. I love it. Did she yes. send you a uh, copy? Um, no, not of the the picture, but it's online. It's on her Facebook. Oh, yeah, okay. So, oh, I need oil now. Hang on. I think, do I want to use the mink oil? Is that for finishing or conditioning? Is that in place I... of this? Or is it because it says softens, preserves, and waterproofs? So is that the last step? Is that instead of this or this? Here, I'm gonna show everybody what we've got tonight. I've got this stuff, this snowproof weatherproofing. Now the fact that it says snowproof is hilarious because we're in Savannah, Georgia. But it's this waterproofing stuff and it's kind of waxy. So I'm that's thinking it's like a polish. Yes. Yeah. But this is mink oil. But not made from real minks, as we discovered last time. Yeah. Well, there is some mink oil. Mink oil, silicone, meets foot oil. lanolin, and meat's foot oil. See, I think that would be instead of the instead of the olive oil. oil. I use olive oil. Catherine made fun of me. But it's, I was using the Neat's Foot Oil that uh, Krista gave us, and I can't, I my whole car will smell like it. Yeah. That rancid oil smell. See, I'll I, put, like, my boots or my bridle and things it the whole way to the bar. I'm like, what is that? Uh, <laughs> I like the uh, hydrophane is what I'm using. So I think I'm going to try the Neat's Oil on my bridle, and we're going to see how that works. need another thingy now. So we're going to see. I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Hang on. I've got so many pals in Georgia. Yes, come visit then. Yes, please, 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 please. Come play Unicorn Ponies with us. Yes. So, oh, Geek Girl says, uh, I don't use waterproofing. It gets so wet down here that I feel like we need it with everything. The waterproofing. Yeah. And even then, everything is so moldy. Moldy. I want Maybe you to. Can post one more time you want to be able to do Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just loving Rebecca and Evie back and forth on they the same really account. adorable, y'all. <laughs> and I'm like, Evie, honey, that? don't get in trouble. I love you. Don't do this. Go to bed, baby. <laughs> it's because it's later. She gets to stay up for the crafting uh, live stream because it's oh, at yeah, 9.30. Yeah. And they're at yeah, um, Central Time. Okay. Oh. So they're an hour early. Okay. Yeah. They're in like, uh, I want to say Wisconsin, but it's Wisconsin or Michigan. One of those Yankee states. <laughs> and she hates the heat. So I'm like, oh, Rebecca and I are never going to meet. <laughs> it's in the wintertime. I know. Yes. In the wintertime, come see me. You'll be like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Emily says she's in New York. It'll be a hike. Yes. It's not a, you know what, though? If you're driving south. Like, it doesn't take you long to get to the D.C. area. And once you get through that, it's like smooth sailing through the Carolinas. It's long. It's from long, here, but it's pretty, and it's not like bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. From here to D.C., it's not nine hours. I think it's going to be smell. It's going to be the lanolin. It's going to make my car smell sheepy. Sheepy. <laughs> I want to go to Georgia. Oh, Marvel, where are you? She says she's one state over. Where are you? Come see me. We are in Savannah, which is like right under um, South Carolina. Like we're really close. We're actually closer to Jacksonville, Florida than we are Atlanta. So if that gives you an idea of where we are, we're on the coast right underneath South Carolina. Oh, North Carolina. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then you really are like one state away because we're practically in South Carolina right now. Oh, Geek Girl says, no, you're Eastern time. Oh, then she is up late. Evie, I'm judging you now. <laughs> I thought they were Central. 
Look at me thinking. This is what I get to thinking. Oh, uh, Rebecca is in Cincinnati on work trip, so Edie is home with dad. I think dad's about to get to tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Evie. <laughs> Evie, girl, play it cool. Just don't comment. You. I don't want to tell she can sit and watch. Rebecca's going to be like, oh, angry on sub. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Taylor says, yeah, Taylor, I was going to say we're spitting distance from South Carolina. I always tell people that. <laughs> Not that we would spit on South Carolina, but maybe. Well, I mean, <laughs> Charles is nice. Aiken's nice. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We have gotten off our topic. What was I going to say? Oh, the one of the things that sort of prompted this entire um, topic was a post in the Facebook group, Horrible Horsemanship. One of the people posted about how livid she was that one of the people at her barn called and said, hey, your friend's here riding your horse. Um, I thought she was supposed to be off. You know, the horse was supposed to be off. Yeah. And she was like, oh, okay. Because this was a show horse that the woman had, had gotten a chiropractic adjustment for, and the chiropractor said, give her three days off, and then have this specific workout, and then you go to your show on Saturday. So the friend was just riding her horse without permission. So this is a show horse who's supposed to be on rest, and now she's just being trotted around and going over, like, you know. Oh, I don't know. Was she doing barrels or something? Oh, I'd be so angry. Yes, it was barrels. She was running barrels on this horse oh. that was supposed to be taking a couple of days off. And the funny thing was, was like, if you're in the group, horrible horsemanship, a lot of times they'll be fighting in the comments. People will go back and forth. Opinions will be split and people will get ugly sometimes. And it's just a big discussion. I have never seen this happen before. Every single comment was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> It was like the post brought the community together. <laughs> Everybody oh, was like, oh, uh uh. No, ma'am. No, no, no. Oh, Aunt Michelle is a terrible influence. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rebecca said she read that post. Wasn't it funny how everybody was just like, it was almost like the exact same comment over and over again. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> Even the gifts people were posting. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, yep, no. Yep. Like, and everybody was so enraged. <laughs> I think my comment was, this post fills me with rage. <laughs> I was like, oh. but that was kind of what prompted it. And the other thing that prompted it too was um, Amy was talking about things that were happening at work. Um, I guess this is technically people doing things to your horse without permission because if you work for a company like the carriage companies downtown, you are driving a horse that does not belong to you. You're just coworkers. So there are very specific things that you are allowed to do and aren't allowed to do. And so this was, there's just an employee at one of the carriage companies um, who's new and thinks he knows everything, even though he's never been around horses before. You're going to have to share which one that is once we close this down. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not naming names right now, but he's the one that likes to trot the horse all the way up Wheaton Street. Mm. You're not supposed to trot the horses. It's a good way to lose a shoe and get your horse coming up lame. Trot them on that asphalt. So yeah. I think at the company you work for, that's like an immediate firing offense, isn't it? Trotting the horses. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Well, I was told. The only, so Dublin, I will say this, Dublin was allowed to trot uh -huh. when we first started riding him because he was an Amish buggy horse and that's what they did. Okay. So to Had get him, calm him down. yeah, to get him used to being in the city, he would trot into town. He was not allowed to trot home, but he would trot yeah. out of town. Yeah. I mean, it took him like two weeks to get over it. But. Oh, oh. Um, it says Liam's only 11. He seems way older than me. She's 11. Cute. I'm going to have to tell Liam. He was looking at your art and loving it. Liam does art too, but he doesn't do it digitally, like on. Um, he doesn't do it on uh, the computer. He just he draws. He's a drawing illustrator guy but um he's fun he's always done that his whole life doing art like most mothers will freak out when their children are quiet but anytime Liam's an only child so anytime he was quiet when he was younger I never worried because I'd go back there and he's just drawing there'd be just piles of paper just all around him and he's just drawing one thing after another and so happy <laughs> yeah. yes oh Emily says I'm newly horseless 
Oh, if you need any cheap uh, tech, please take my crap. Oh no, did you, what happened with your horse? Or is this like not something you can talk about tonight? If it's not, I don't know, like message me, girl. I don't like that newly horse moose. That made me go, <gasps> mm, yeah. <laughs> like, what happened? Oh my gosh. Do you need to drink wine with us? We're here for you. So what is, this is, this is bad. What are you looking at? It's folded up. I think it needs to be this way, but it looks like it hasn't been that way for a long time. How does that even happen? Because that doesn't really rub anything right there. It doesn't sit on anything. It doesn't. It's like right under the tree. So. Oh, Scott says Liam's old school. There's a horse oh, in our barn. No. Uh, is it Potomac, is it? Potomac horse fever. Is that bad? What is that? You made an oh no noise. Uh, Potomac horse fever is... I don't know that. I'm not familiar with it. I don't know everything, y'all. That's shock. Don't tell my son. <laughs> <laughs> I have never had to deal with that. But anyway, oh, Oliver was sold. I bought Fireball. Fireball was broken. Very scam. <gasps> oh, wow. $5,000? Girl, wait. I'm sorry. I need a minute. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Emily. See, I had something like that happen to me with my very first horse that I had as an adult, but I wasn't out a whole lot of money. I think I ended up being out $900 on the whole, when all was said and done on like, you know, trailering and board and fees and whatever that I paid. But the horse itself had been free, but um, I had a problem with the former owners and had to give it back. But, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, honey. Mm. Man, horse drama. That's what we're talking about tonight, horse drama. Mm. I kind of like the way this meat coil makes the leather feel. I feel the cheeky pieces. Yeah, it's really, it's like, mm. it's a bit of an olive oil. <laughs> Probably everything's better than olive oil. <laughs> Prayers for Katniss, please. Uh, oh, fatality rate around 30%. Oh no, uh, oh no, oh no. And where are the horse's name is Katniss. Oh no. That's beautiful. Uh, is it um, contagious? Yes, I think. So, is like, it, you have no, to wait, quarantine I, the horse? It's not like one, like EE, e, whatever, like it's a mosquito. Equine infection, infection. Uh, anemia. Yeah. Is that mosquito? No, that's Potomac, a mosquito. No. Potomac horse fever is mosquito. Is it mosquito? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm scared um, now. See, because I thought that was only up in, like, Maryland, Virginia, Delaware oh, area. yeah. She says, no, it's not contagious. It's not Thank not. goodness. Goodness gracious me. Oh my gosh, that is scary. Eating infected bugs, okay. You know, speaking of infected things, things, I know this is kind of off topic, but somebody's saying EPM is caused by possum poop? Is um, that right? Something to do with possum poop. Because like, people are like, oh, we'll never have possums. And I'm like, oh, they're all over Chimney Field. Yeah. Um, like, we live right near the woods. How could you not have possums? Like, if the possums get into the food or something and, like, poop in the food. I don't know exactly what it is, but because that came up. One of the horses, when I was over at uh, that fancy plantation that I used to work at, um, one of the horses was having some sort of neurological stuff. Yeah. He was having seizures. And it was, if you've. Have you ever seen a horse have a seizure? Not in person. It no. is not pretty. No, and I do was, not want to. It's about 15'3", so he was not a small horse. Aww. Um, it's a day 20. And he would get really violent and mean before he had the seizures. And so we ended up having him tested for uh, EPM. Um, they did a spinal tap on him. Wow. Yeah, but there was they were talking about possum poop. See, that's I love possums so much. They are just, they're one of my totems. I just love them. So just the idea that, you know, people are horrified. I don't know. I think Emily and Rebecca are trading tech there in the chat. That's awesome. That's awesome. Y'all get it. Hedwig needs blame. Hedwig doesn't need blame. Hedwig is blame. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Marvel, you should see Geek Girl's um, horse. You like paints? 
she's got an American spotted draft horse. Like it's a paint horse, but it's enormous. And she calls it her pony potamus. <laughs> and she's just beautiful. Her name's Hedwig and she's named after an ancient, uh, actually a woman who was king. A woman who was king, King Hedwig. I just love that. I just love it. These reins are kind of ratchet. Mm. Right. I didn't ask uh, when it was 11.15 I didn't ask what time it was and I'm so proud of myself oh see I looked and thought about what, what time it was, it was usually it's like you know 45 minutes in and I'm like what time is it I really want to get to gluing my boots and see if I can that's a thing I can actually do well I mean we're only that far into the wine so I think you can probably make probably, it I haven't even finished one how can I not finish one glass of wine what is going on with me tonight I have oiled my whole bridle though, and now I'm kind of ready to put it back together. So maybe I need to have some drinkies, and maybe I need to. My hands are all oily. Finish that. Should and then I? we're going to watch her try and put this back together. Wait. Just a little bit more. Um. Half a glass. There we go. And now it's 11.20. Ding! Yes. So, Marvel, yes, sorry um, if I go silent every once in a while. Aw, you know I mean? She's sick. Baby girl. Uh -uh. I don't like that. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Now I've got to figure out. Here's my nose vent. Now I have to figure out how to put the bridle back together, y'all. I had mink oil on my fingers. <laughs> Why did you stick your finger in your mouth? I had hair on my tongue. <laughs> How do the minks taste? It's terrible. I have to put my tongue back in my mouth now. Wait. <laughs> Don't squint at a white wine weakling. Which one of that was that? Was that for me? I don't know. It was that squinted for you. Oh, I squinted everything. I don't have my glasses on. If I put my glasses on, though, the glare, like, you can't even see my eyes. So I can have my glasses on. Actually, I look, I look like my mother. I look like my mom. So if I put my glasses on, then a lot of times there's, like, you can't see my eyes because of the glare of the light. So I just take them off. But then I can't see anything, so I'm like... Michelle is not going to be able to put this bridle back together. That's from Marvel. <laughs> oh, how dare you? I am hashtag triggered. Okay, hang on. I have, this is the head stall. Wait, and the, it goes this way. Um, I got to get this on first. It's got to go this way, which means I mean, it goes on upside down, right? Okay. If you, if you need help. I'm done oiling my saddle. Shoes. <laughs> I did it wrong. Wait. You did too. Shoes. <laughs> Bite it. Okay, wait. But what? <laughs> Bite. Wait, no, it goes. No, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay, hang on. Don't judge me. Pay attention to your saddle. My you saddle, do you. Looking, I am just, I am trying to assist because I have oiled. I know, but see, I have to get the grab it on this way, which means it's got to slide on like this. Now, are the words the right way up? Yeah, well, they're going to be. Okay. That's why I had to do it like the right way up. See, I did it. Haters. Y'all a bunch of haters. All right, but now i got to put the nose band on. Correct. <laughs> Y'all, I need more wine. Oh my gosh, blindfolded tack assembly challenge. That would be fun. I always think of, I think I've said this on tack chat before, but I always think of when I was little, we used to watch the Dukes of Hazard because we lived, we lived in Georgia and that was what everybody <clears throat> did in the 70s or around 1980 or whenever it was. And there was an episode where Daisy, there was like this beauty competition, this redneck beauty competition. 
And the talent part portion of the beauty contest was they had to take apart, or they had to put together a car carburetor. They were like in their own little private booth and they had to put it together. Well, plot twist, or you know, somebody had messed with Daisy's booth and the light went out in the booth. And her line was something like, Thank goodness Cooter taught me how to put this thing together blindfolded. <laughs> and every time I put together these bridles, I always hear that in my head. It was Catherine Bach as Daisy Duke going, Thank goodness Cooter taught me how to put this thing together blindfolded. I'm dumb. No, you're you're in a good place. <laughs> Shush. This is going together correctly. It is. That's why I said you're in a good place. Okay, but now this has to attach to a thing. See, Marvel, you don't know me. You don't know me. <laughs> but now I have to put it back together in a way where it fits my horse, too. Like, what hole did I have it on? Which I'm one's gonna... the most warm? Uh, yeah. But see, I never used this for sunny. This was the bridal my dad sent me. I love my daddy. Michelle is living her best life. Always. I have unicorns. You're dang right I live my best life. Okay, this looks like it's actually together, but now we have to put the cheek pieces on. Cheek pieces! They go on the inside like this, right? Yeah. Okay. See, it's happening. Y'all know me. Michelle is always having way more fun. You know, I don't get paid enough not to have a good time with my life, y'all. I don't, I have not been making money with Unicorn Centaur. <laughs> so if we're going to be doing this, I'm going to have a good time, okay? That's how I live my life. All right. One more cheek piece. It's going on the correct way. It is. You're looking. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh my god, y'all. I really need to use this bridal on Sunny. I just love the rainbow one so much that I use it all the time. Did we hit anything? Now that we're, look, it's like 11.27. Did we hit on anything that we should have hit on that we didn't hit? Did we not talk about anything we should have? Like people, we talked about people riding your horse without permission. We talked about the dangers of feeding horses treats. And yes, horses bite. Not all horses um, bite, but you know what? All horses Honestly, can bite. Anything with teeth can bite. Mm -hmm. I remember, do you remember working at Norwood and they had a petting zoo at this uh, stable we worked at and people with the goats and people would always be like, the little kids would be like, mom, do they bite? And the moms would be like, no. And I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. they, have they bite. They have teeth. You can't, and kids would stick their fingers in the goat's mm -hmm. mouth like, eee. Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Like, why? Why would you do that? What's wrong with you? Where is your mother? Like even uh, right there and I know, yeah, right not there. Going, attention. Stick your finger in his mouth. What lady? Do you hate your child? Hey, look at Georgia. Oh, I'm about to put this bit on backwards, y'all. Baby chase. Right. Oh, congrats, Michelle. You put it together. Wait, I don't have the bit on yet, girl. <laughs> don't congratulate me yet. I think we need. I think I need to finish the um, bridal before we end the live stream, though, because it's yeah, almost done. And nobody can imagine. Yeah, and it is on correctly. Where's the other cheek piece, though? Oh, it's right here. I'm gonna drink for that as well. <laughs> See the way you're looking at me. I still have to get the reins on too after the bit. This is this bit cost me three dollars, and if you look at it closely enough, you'll be like, "Yeah, that's a three dollar bit." I think it was on sale, like Chick Savory. It was on clearance. How oh, was three dollars? Okay, there we go, and now we got to get the reins on, and then we are good to uh, go. So yes, today I shot some video for Thursday's video. It's going to be about baiting horses. Now Sunday's video, y'all, I'm super excited. We're going to drop a teaser. This is all my teaser for Sunday's video. What's going to be Sunday's video? It might have to do with Harry Potter. What? I said it. I said it. So there you go. Tune in. I'm a little sad you have not asked me to guest on this. Um, <laughs> I have my well, wand. 
We have been talking about, if you are still with us or if you're watching on the playback, you can join us on Patreon. We are Unicorn and Centaur on Patreon. And um, you pledge a little bit per month. It can be anything like, you know, $5, $10, whatever you've got uh, per month. You put it on your credit card. But your patronage, that means you are supporting our channel, our business. And for your patronage, we um, there's a secret Facebook group for Unicorn and Centaur that we have where... But then you get to be a part of the creative process where, like, I'll post. Sometimes I post scripts and sometimes I post, like, blooper reels and, you know, all kinds of crazy. Did you post uncut water, watermelon or? No. no. <laughs> I do actually have the bloopers from the last Centaur video that I'm going to put up in there. So that's what patronage gets you is to be part of the inside track. And actually the Harry Potter or not video that we're going to do <laughs> on Sunday was um, – not inspired by, but really, she breathed life into it. It was Rebecca, geek girl, in the chat, who, like, I was like, mm, maybe I should do this. And her contributions really, I got so excited. I'm like, yeah, hey, those so were like, good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it just, it gave me new ideas for the channel or for the video, and I was just so excited. So, look, here we go. Yay. Marvel, I got it back together, and it and is correct. I won't have to unglue you from. Yeah, I didn't get to gluing my boots, but um, hey, maybe next time, or maybe I'll have them done next time. Thank you for joining us tonight. Who joined us tonight? Evie, I know you went to bed, but honey, I love you so much. Um, Rebecca, thank you for joining us. Emily, Taylor, Lauren showed up at the very beginning. Zadel, if you end up seeing it on the playback, uh, when you come back, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but, and anybody else, if you're watching on the playlist, people like Brianna and who else watches? The playback. I'm on the watch on the playback. Some people are like, I watch, but I never join the chat. I'm like, always join the chat. Judging you. So tune in next. Next week's live stream is going to be a crafting live stream where we're going to be doing a lot of painting. And then the week after that is going to be another tech chat topic to be announced then. So thank you very much. Do you have anything to add? Oh, not that I can think of. <laughs> That's all I have to add. <laughs> all right. Excuse me. All right. Okay, then we're going to end the live stream there. Thank you for joining us. We love Bye. you so much. Bye.